Hey guys, what's up? It is Jonathan McCollum here. I'm here to tell you that I found an app on my app store called One Night at Freddy's. And I'm guessing this one night is supposed to be a pain in the ass. Here's some comments about the game. It's cool, but add the other animatronics and make more than one night in phone calls and make one night at five. Make one night at Freddy's too, please. This was from he from someone by by the name of Heather. I don't know which Heather. God damn it, I can't believe I gotta do this time the review. There's also one from Gabriella I don't know what her last name begins with an A. Hold on guys, I gotta put it down long enough. I just watched Jack Sepakai play it. He actually played Balloon Boy's audio right near the office. He just talked to, uh, I think, uh, what's that animatronic's name? I can't quite remember. Well... This plug is not like mine, but, like my, not like my original, but I'll take it. Anyway, here's, here's that. Here's this one's comment. It could have been better, but it, it is still good. Me and my friends and I, me and my friends and I liked it at some point. It was lame. She gave this a one star. This is... This is like Five Nights at Freddy's, but with only one night. I mean, really? Good God. How many more spinoffs could they have done before Scott released the full Five Nights at Freddy's 3 game? And I'm actually trying to look for Five Nights at Freddy's 3 here on my Kindle. I know Scott ain't gonna be wasting all his time trying to put the game that he just released into mobile version yet. The dude's gotta take time to relax. With all the people thinking, oh, maybe his game's been compromised or been hacked. Y'all really need to take a chill pill on that. He's released the game. Are y'all happy? Here's what it says here by Caden. Face off Slender. It's like Slender, but just Freddy who is chasing you. Lots of jump scares. The ending is so hilarious. Don't listen to the other rub re reviews people post. Okay, if you think this game it And look Fucking things is free And I'm a sucker for free games. Get the app. This thing better be worth the free download. I wonder how much Scott's going to charge the third game on mobile. I can't wait to find out what This almost looks like Minecraft's One Night at Freddy's. I swear it is. It looks like it. Even the icons shows it. This better not be from Minecraft, or else I'm going to be pissed. <sighs> Come on. And this is no demo. This is actually a full game.
Fighting! Fuck no! Okay, seriously guys, you gotta make a better app. Remove from cloud. Wow, when you remove it from the cloud, it actually removes from the whole system. I just can't believe how how hyped people were for the game. No. 8.99 for No way am I paying that much for sh Jesus, is there anything that's Super Jump World? Um, really? Super Jump World Kindle tablet version. You basically just. Never mind, I'm not even gonna bother. See, look where I typed. Brightness. See, look. Five Nights at Freddy's 3. See, look at the price for Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2. Two ninety nine for each of them. Yeah, I showed a game called Don't Whack Your Teacher to a, te to a Teacher's Assistant. She really freaked out. There's a game called Seven Nights in Hell, and I'm never playing that. Freddy. Okay, what the hell am I looking at? I'm trying to actually avoid... You gotta be kidding. This is almost. Freddy Five Nights. Yeah, the name's confused. Freddy Five Nights has the same location as Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But these animatronics are in Minecraft form. Seriously, Minecraft form? I doubt anybody would want to play. Oh yeah, here's this one. Listen. By Coop the Boss. C O O P the Boss. It says, "Do not buy." I do not think that you should buy this game. It is super boring. 
I suggest that you play Minecraft Pocket Edition, which I have. It is a lot more fun. I hope you like my view. Bye. That's what he says. And the last time I think, the la actually the last time I looked, I don't think Scott made made Five Nights at Freddy's games for like kids. I think he made it for people who can handle jump scares. Markiplier can never ha handle jump scares of a new game. I don't know why I'm talking. I could barely. Pay I swear to God, guys, I'm actually bored out of my mind. I swear, I am dead bored. I've got all these games here on my Kindle, and mainly the ones I'm playing the most are Five Nights at Freddy's or Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Those are the only two games I've got. And I post... Book, I bet. Shit. Yes, as you can tell, on my Kindle app, I have the book of Five Nights at Freddy's and Five Nights at Freddy's 2. If I have the games. I freaking want the game for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I'm actually willing to shop. I ain't paying for no games, but I'm looking through all these. Why the hell does there have to be a snake simulator? I should have told these assholes that I am afraid of snakes. But that doesn't... Oh, do not... Dollar is tree. Like... It's Dollar is tree. Yeah, add the dollar I S T R Y. What does this do anyway? Is it like a freaking Rubik's cube? Dear God! No way. I'm not paying four ninety nine for the game of life. Screw it. And the only thing from the Sonic set is Sonic C D, which is two ninety Oh my dear God, I, I can't believe it. For right now it feels like, besides, I know there are, there has to be a lot of people who don't even know that. Alright, we all have to know that Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is out. 
and the full game is out as well. I guess Scott saw that when I guess Scott was watching the demo downloads rise like hell. I bet the dude said, eh, screw it, I'm not gonna wait for it. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Well, everything seems to be in order. Yeah, there's no bugs. I guess the dude just re decided to just watch people download the game like, download the demo like crazy. And then he says, oh crap, if I got this many people that have been waiting for this game ever since I released Five Nights 2, then I might as well release the full game. There ain't no point in making them wait anymore. I guess that's what Scott was thinking the night he released the demo. Yeah. The dude just watched, watched the download, download number just shoot up like a rocket. Yeah, actually shoot up. The dude just said, oh my god, I can't believe how many people have been waiting for this game. They must have been so bored with the spinoffs, the the fan made. I bet that dude was really tick was really happy to see people were being occupied by something instead of just shouting out, Scott, when's the next game coming out? Scott, when's the next game coming out? I think the dude's had enough people. So basically what I'm trying to say is I think this might be Scott's last Five Nights at Freddy's in the horror game that he's released. Because if I was a developer like him, which I'm, which I'm asking by the way, guys, how the hell do I make an indie horror game or a Godzilla game in the indie ho in the in the game Joel area? I need to know how to do this stuff because apparently. I am really confused. I was hoping to be a gamer and a developer at the same time, but I can't be both. I gotta choose to be a gamer or a developer. I've actually chosen developer. Because it's actually always been my dream to kind of make a game instead of just playing people's games. But anyway, what I'm trying to get... What I'm trying to say is... If you guys were Scott Carlton and you had to make three game, three Five Nights at Freddy's games in less than two years, I know your butts would be dragged out tired as well. Your butts would be dead tired, sitting on the couch, trying to set up the areas, the the set up a whole game in less than two years for three games. The dude barely had enough time to think, oh, let's see. Where am I going to put this? Where am I going to put this? If you guys had gave him, like, about two years to rest, we would all be a little more appreciative. So that way we know, like, more details of who the main villain is besides Springtrap and the other. Yeah, I... I've been noticing that when I watch people's replays on this game, there have been wi worse withered versions of the old animatronics. So basically, we got the whole game. I wonder if Marionette's gonna. I wonder if the Marionette is gonna come back in this. I swear, to God, I hope not. But BB, wow, Scott, you really know how to make BB vicious because. All he did in the second game was just take our flashlights and say, Ha ha, Freddy, Foxy's gonna get you. I swear we all wanted to punch the animatronic right in the nose. But you sure know how to make animatronics scary. It would have been funny if we just found a walking endoskeleton right near our room, right near our office. That would have freaked us out for sure. Scott, I gotta get... I gotta tell you something. You are my top... You are my... You are the most... Famous indie horror game maker of all time for right now. By my point of view. If you could make a Five Nights at Freddy's... 
I'm not saying you should start producing a Five Nights at Freddy's 4, but you can take a three-year rest and figure out, if I were to make another Five Nights at Freddy's game, let's see. I wonder who I would make. I know. If you could make an animatronic version, uh, a small animatronic version of Godzilla, Oh boy! Make Godzilla the size of an animatronic character from the Five Nights at Freddy's set, and just make him so withered that basically his head, wait a minute, his dorsal spines are off, but his tail is still on with the tail dorsal spines, with also with his with his jaw right here completely off. That would actually freak people out if you can make an animatronic out of that. But I mean seriously, I'm just giving you an idea, dude. You can make an animatronic Mario. Seriously, you can make an animatronic Mario, Wario, Luigi, and Sonic. We would love to see an animatronic Sonic. Not that demented crap. Sonic that EXE is almost like trying to say, oh, this is basically an EXE version of Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's Sonic. I don't know why Sega went and let people do that to Sonic. Let them make a demented version with, with no mercy whatsoever. See ya!